Look at that view! Gorgeous, isn't it? But it has been growing for many generations. And now it's time for harvesting. You brutal woman! We're not harvesting that forest. It's where I pick my mushrooms and my berries. Yeah, but look at those trees. They're just decaying and falling down. That's... They are at their prime and ready to be harvested. New trees will grow there. That's dead wood. It's important for the insects. And the birds need to eat the insects. And I like looking at birds. Yeah, but think about the insects. They will come to destroy the forest. But if you cut a bit here and um, over there... I mean, a small, cute, little clear cut? Clear cuts are evil. Then think about bioenergy. That is the good energy that keeps you warm in winter and cooks your sausages. Huh? You don't make bioenergy from old trees. But timber production is what they are grown for. If you won't cut, someone else will. Would you like to get your timber from and increase your carbon footprint together with all those emissions that come from long distance transport? No, timber is bad. It has bullets inside. <laughs> that is not good for the sores or for the industry. When sores break, it can be really awful. People could get hurt. Yeah, true, true. And our technology is much better. We have good harvesters going in. Hey, hey, Tina and Marty. <gasps> We might have a solution for you. The things you are interested in, value of the timber, carbon footprint, biodiversity, can be measured by indicators. Comparing indicators is done in a so-called sustainability impact assessment. Sounds complicated, huh? But don't worry about it. There's a computer program that can help you. Tosia. The tool for sustainability impact assessment. So that tool, Tosia, I've heard about that. Can that tell us more about our options? Yes, yeah, so maybe we should try the tool. Hey, could you help us? How? Uh, I mean, I want to cut the forest. He doesn't want to cut the forest. But I think it's good for the economy, value of the timber, employment. Maybe it's really time to look at the situation, to gather all the facts for your forest wood chain, and to get data for the indicators you thought about. Yeah. How the wood material flows from that forest, and what impacts come along with that flow. Uh, cool. C could you show us how? First of all, we are loading the chain with its processors, looking at the situation in North Karelia, as it is now, the current situation, and one future scenario, maximizing current cuttings. Matty, look at the nice colors. See, economic value is good. Mine and yours are completely different. I think that yours is bad. But look at the values. Mine is higher in employment. Yeah, that, that's true, but in my options, see how high the biodiversity is. It has lots of mushrooms and, and insects and, and birds. Hmm. So, it's better. Well, how about the water values, wages and salaries? It's true, yours has more employment, but maybe it... Look at the biodiversity. It's gone. That's no good. So... Couldn't we have an in-between solution? Taking out a few good timber trees here and there and some thinning of some very dense young forest. Okay, that is good forest maintenance, but what do you do with the old forests? That is very important. Cut a bit from the side? Well, if you want, you could take every second tree and leave the big trees in there. Right, it can then regenerate. Good point. You're an old forester, Matty. Oh, well, yes, I am. But that also gives some spaces for the young trees to grow. And then we have continuous forest cover. Yes. Then let's make a scenario. That's a good idea. I'm curious to see that run. Me too. For more information, go to tosia.efi.int.